Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm here with Renee uh, Lavrie Shanks, and yep. you're you're, with, you're you you are the SMP program manager. What is SMP? Thanks for asking. That is Senior Medicare Patrol. It's uh, an acronym that we use instead. So Montana SMP is part of a national network. It's in every state and U.S. Protectorate, and we are a program of Missoula Aging Services, which, as you know, our mission is to promote the independence, dignity, and health of older adults and those who care for them. Nice. So uh, many of the programs that are happening this year, this is particularly uh, kind of like a change time, because you were talking about how people, this is like the time for people to change their Medicare plan and their prescriptions, all that stuff. Yes, we're, we're concerned with the fraud happening around these enrollment periods. So the annual election period is coming up October 7th through December 15th. That's a one time a year somebody on Medicare Part C or D can change into any plan they want and relook at their plans. And we really recommend they do that. Only be, not because of fraud, but because the changes happen, drugs get added or dropped or everything like that. They just need to know what it'll look like next year before January 1st rolls around. Right, and uh, primarily uh, the biggest scams are over the phone and usually when they ask um, personal information. Even if it's just like, you're in a secured line, but your information may not be secured based on the person you're talking to. It's a new world with the phone, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, between the between the robocalls, but the unsolicited calls, the telemarketers, and they're just, and texts. They're texting yeah. too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and they're spoofing numbers, so it'll look like a different number. Yep. So it'll look like a Montana number, and it's not. And the recommendation is always, one, if you can, just don't answer the phone unless you know who it is. Right. That we always say if it's important, they'll leave a message. Two is if you do answer the phone, if it seems like, oh, who is this person, why are they calling me, just hang up right away. You don't want to be on the phone any longer than you need to because they track that. Right. And they, they track that and they can sell your information to other companies. They say, this person was on for 10 minutes. That makes your number more cashable to them than somebody who doesn't answer or is only on for 30 seconds. Right. And then the third thing is never give out personal information, anything like your full birth date, even your, don't rec, they have a way with con artists, right? Yeah. That they, they make it seem like they gave the info, but you're actually giving them info. It's amazing. Yep. But don't give them out social security, of course. And two people in Montana that I know of across the state did a couple weeks Ooh. ago on some of these calls that came in. Yeah, I mean, I don't even trust uh, putting my uh, own card information when I'm paying over the phone and whatnot. Yeah. I mean, a lot of times it's it's good um, to really uh, vet your calls. Like, if you don't recognize the number, just don't answer it. It's, it's as simple as possible. Most phones are retrofitted with caller ID and whatnot. So mm -hmm. if they leave a message, then it's good. Then you should know exactly what they're going for. But another thing that I always uh, that I figured out as well, because I was also one with uh, who's constantly bombarded with robot calls. It's always that one. So it was like three times a day around the same time every day and whatnot. And the one thing that I noticed is that um, if you automatically hit ignore, that would automatically know that they would keep calling. Oh, hitting ignore is another big problem as well. You a lot of times you just gotta let it ring out. Yep. It marks you as a live line. Yep. And when they yeah, they have a live line and they know it's a live line, they're going to keep you on that rotation. So if people quit answering them, they will slowly drop off. Yep. They need to enter their number in the do not call. I know people think, oh, that doesn't stop the calls. No, but you will be guaranteed to know and have a red flag when somebody does call and you are registered yep. on that. And I always like to think of it as a weed you should not pull because if you pull this particular weed, three more weeds pop into place and it gets even worse. Yes. So you gotta watch out for those kind of calls. That is true. Yep. So besides that, let's talk about more of the, uh, you know, some of the scams. You were saying that there's uh, genetic test kits, you know, that, that yeah. does not require a salesman to uh, get these. Yeah, genetic testing kits right now are, are one of the current scams nationwide, but they've hit Montana. I've heard people answer Facebook posts. Um, that people get a phone call or people go to a presentation and even get something in the mail and, and it, they say, you know, they get onto your fear and they get over your lot, your sense of logic and they say, if, you know, you, cancer runs in your family, we can help identify it early, something like that. And then you're thinking, well, why not? Medicare covers it. But Medicare only covers genetic testing in certain circumstances. Your doctor has to order it. It's got to be medically necessary. It's got to be a reason. So if you think about those terms and somebody's yeah. telling you, don't worry about it, I can get Medicare to cover it, that's not a good sign right there. Right. If Just you walk away. If you want to pay for the genetic kit, you pay for it yourself and you send it in yourself, but you never have that middleman to help you get that genetic kit. 
plus who knows what they have your genetic information right. now <laughs> i don't even know what's going to happen right with that down the road yeah information is such a, like we live in a world where every bit of information about us even like us going on internet is constantly being tracked mm -hmm. and but now it's like now it's being warned it's like your information may be used for right purposes and whatnot. right right yeah so um but let, let's talk a little bit more you know like we're talking about the scams and all that stuff like but let's talk about more about uh you know the medicare enrollment uh c and d plans about that's what's happening and uh missile agent services is working hard to help people uh get the information and tools they need to uh, change adapt evolve their medicare plan yes uh last year we had a lot of people uh get a plan move so all of those people had to switch into a new plan and it is complicated and we want people to know if they need help get an appointment with Missoula Aging Services or their closest office on aging you know if they're a caregiver for someone across the state there are ship counselors all across the state it's a good network and we give unbiased information and we want people to just have the information to make the decision right. and this year is another big year because not only is it the annual election period, but we have a new tool that Medicare is unrolling basically October 1st, so it'll be brand new to all of us to help people make these decisions. So folks who have done it themselves in the past, go online with medicare.gov, it's gonna look different this year. And so if they run into any snags with that, to also give us a call to help troubleshoot. Cool. And speaking of websites, you have your own website, MissoulaAgingServices.org. Yes. If you are interested in finding more information, go to this website. And uh, what's the number for Missoula Asian Services? 728-7682. Awesome. Well, is there anything else you want to say about anything that we didn't touch on? Because we really like dove into the scams for sure. We did. I just want people to be aware that durable medical equipment scams are rampant right now, the genetic testing, and uh, not being afraid if the Social Security or the IRS is calling because they're not they're just not and that's the main the main thing and then to call us if they, if they have questions nice well uh, thanks Renee I, I really appreciate you coming down here um, like again, like once again if you are inter interested in more information you can uh, look up Missoula Asian services they're here to help the aging population that is Missoula or any other aging services that are in your community as well all right so thanks and, thank you um, we'll be right back right after this <laughs>